Join us for an adventure in Cambodia's north, along the Dungrek Mountains, one of the last strongholds of the Khmer Rouge until the late 1990s. We venture deep into the jungle and find stunning swimming holes. Get lost in the jungle more than once? I surely hope we are going the right way. Explore the UNESCO World Heritage listed Prey Bahir Temple and get a bit close for comfort to the locals. <laughs> We start our trip heading north out of Siem Reap towards An Long Weng and Pol Pot's house. But things rarely go to plan. Just 20 minutes out of town, the engine is hissing and coolant bubbling. So it took about seven litres of water. Not ideal. Rookie error. Um, just filled it up, left the radio cap off gonna crank it over and let it run, get all the air out, and then we can top it up again, and then as long as the engine's not cooked, we're fine. <laughs> Inshallah. <laughs> well, that's not good. Found the problem. There's a hose that comes out of the block and then into the bottom of the fuel pump which I don't know why it goes into the bottom of the fuel pump, but yeah, it's split. But good thing is, clamp, chop, put, clamp, done. Hopefully, <laughs> no more coolant leak. Oh, I hope so. Well, after about 15 minutes of cursing engineers, we managed to, when I say we, Paul, managed to snip that split hose and then reclamp it. Just giving a little um, test start. Seems to be holding up, but we'll see how it goes under pressure. I did read a couple of reviews that said probably scooters only. <laughs> we got a scooter, it's just like two scooters. So we're lost. If you're trying to find Pol Pot's house and you're following Google Maps and you get to this spot, it's not the right way. This spot is cool though. It's like a little bit dilapidated. Pretty crazy place. It is a crazy place. It's kind of strange because for an area that has been so, like has so much messed up history, it feels really peaceful out here. We haven't seen anyone. No. Huh. Yeah. weird. Normally there's people everywhere. We saw that bike, so not too far down, so there must be people not too far. There's always people nearby. Which is always a little bit comforting when your car's already broken down once today. It didn't break down. It was still going. It was still going. It was just very, very unhappy. There's another bridge over there. Yeah. I thought they all linked in. Yeah. Well, it's 
So keep moving. Nothing's easy to find. <laughs> I even screenshotted super helpful directions from someone who'd made it. And still seem to have cooked it. All right, so I think we might chalk that up as a mission fail for Pol Pot's house. It does look wicked up there, but I think the only way that we're going to get up is on foot. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. It's one and a half k's each way, like straight up. So probably actually two k's each way with the gradient. Uh, and we still need to find a camp. So um, we're going to go to the next spot, which is a waterfall that's only like half an hour east of here. And I'm hoping that we can camp around there. We've just made it to the waterfall. I can't remember the name. I'll put it down the bottom. Uh, it's pretty busy, but it's nice. Yeah, it's not crazy busy. No. Handful of people. Um, 2,500 real each to come in, which is about uh, 30 cents each US. So, pretty cheap. And apparently we can camp here. So we've been told the upper waterfall is closed because there's been too much rain. Um, but according to the local guy who speaks a little bit of English, we can just go near here. So I'm guessing just... We just keep going. Uh, just like not all the way up the mountain. But I'm hoping there's like a nice, another swimming hole. Come out of the jungle into this scrub, bashing through. <laughs> oh shit. Straight down. Look at that. We're going down. We're not going up there. I'm sick of going up. I can hear water down there. Sweating balls. Keep this going so I stack it. Let's get some good feed. Off a bit. <laughs> oh. Caught, colder than the aircon in the 80 series, so. <laughs> that is not hard. It's trippy as hell. Did I lead you astray? Yeah. This spot is mint. The waterfall down there, swimming hole. For the uh... monastery, uh, shrine, Buddha. Dogs, chickens, pigs, cats. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna um, 
cook some dinner and probably check it in the morning. One final swim here before we leave and Paul's going to jump off this rock. Yeah. <laughs> Water. Temperatures. Alright, look at you. Carly has turned to jump. Good. Yep. Yep. Pick up some rubbish as well. First stop for the morning is Os Ospey Waterfall. This is another like multi-level waterfall. It's like Mossman Gorge. Cool drive, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> Our military escort. Just up the river. Yeah. Are we bashing? Yeah. <laughs> Dog's going to fly. <laughs> We've got our very own military escort just going up ahead of us and clearing the track. <laughs> this is slightly reminiscent of our second date. So, seen a tree was cut over the chainsaw, so we'd have to boulder up the boulder up the creek, and I found a bit of rubbish. So that normally means people been around here. Yeah, through there, which doesn't look like a track, but on the other side it's a bit of a clearing, so it looks like a bit of a track. We'll just keep following that, see how we go. I knew I should have bought my machete. I hope that's not a snake hole or something. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a mission. I'm put the camera down because I'm going to eat shit in a minute. Pick in the jungle. Just rock scrambling. But I surely hope we are going the right way. It's beautiful anyway.
So yeah, there's a lot of effort, not really much reward. But this footy is beautiful anyway. Cold? Yeah, it's nice. It's colder than the last one. Right, I'll have to bash down there and go for, go for a dip. Oh. Oh. That's cold. It's nice. It's nice. We might not have found the waterfall we were looking for, but I'm pretty happy with this spot. Nice. I've stacked it that many times that I'm not super keen. Apparently we're only like halfway there. It's been rock scrambling on slippery rocks for the best part of an hour. But this is spectacular. Yeah, especially now the sun's just come out. There's no one here. Okay, we're gonna enjoy this for a little bit, cool down and then start trekking back to the car. Next stop over here. So we just pulled in at the ticket office at Prover here. Um, if you're coming from the west like we did, then you need to keep going on the main road past the turnoff, and the ticket office is on the right. Um, we were not expecting to be allowed to just drive up ourselves. I thought the only options were a motorbike ridden by one of the staff here or to jump in the back of a ute. Paul's just done a quick check under the hood noting the issues that we had yesterday wow that was only yesterday that feels yeah. like a really long time ago <laughs> should be an interesting drive up sounds like it is very steep so we were warned that it was 45 degrees coming up here but Paul didn't really believe them uh, I'm pretty sure it is <laughs> this is gnarly <laughs> we've had to go to low range because we stalled on one of the hills A bit exciting. It's a bit tense. Well, we've made it. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> that was super hectic. That was very hectic. Yeah. We almost stalled again in low range, and I'm um, not really sure what we would have done then. It turns out I had another gear to kick back. Yeah. Going down is going to be exciting. It's going to be low range. So... Low range first gear. It's gnarly. <laughs> I'm and... surprised they gave us the option to drive, honestly, because they saw what we rolled in driving. But um, yeah, it's um, still raining. I think we might grow a rain jacket and go for a look around. Yeah. This is huge. It just keeps going and going. I don't think it's going to go much further. Nah, I think we're getting to the end, but it looks like it's an awesome overlook. 
Alright, look. Out, look. Look out. Look out. Oh, where's my dad? down so we finished the temple walk pretty it's, bloody awesome yeah well worth a visit i mean it's unesco world heritage listed so that pretty much says it all um yeah you just keep going there's more and more and more temples and then you get to this wicked view uh and scary monkeys <laughs> don't get too close to the monkeys huh. they'll chase you don't harass the monkeys so um, now we got the joys of driving back down that hill which I'm not really too excited about in an auto. No, uh, neither of us are. <laughs> Probably boy. I'm glad we got those reduction gears. Oh yeah. Well there's no way we would have got up if we didn't have them. Not with the 37s. Yeah. View is just so good. The camera never does it justice, and that's level. That's not a steep one. No. You know it's steep when you got pressure on your head and steering wheel holding yourself back. It's crazy. It's not as scary as going up. Going up is like you have to, have to go, you can't go this slow. That was a good test for the 80. It made it up. Let's <laughs> touch it go. Well, we have made it. Last camp for this trip. Just having a tailgate beer. Yep. Right. Relaxing after that drive. <laughs> it was a bit long. Dodging oh. cows. Yeah, it wasn't. Tractors. Just the road, road wasn't very good either. Very lumpy and the 80 does not like holding its course. It's like driving in Victoria. Shocking. <laughs> it's actually worse in Victoria. <laughs> but, um, so we're going to set the swag up on this little balcony here. And we should have a mint view over the lake. I reckon at sunrise with the sun, see, popping up on the other side, those mountains are going to be lit up. So, Fun fact, I've been doing a bit of research into these mountains and you can hike up them and there's like a whole bunch of waterfalls and stuff. So anyway, uh, yeah, we're gonna get set up and take in this view. In for the night slowly. A couple, couple more tins. We are. Oh. Carly is on cooking duties. 
quick little stir fry tonight. Got the swag set up. Oh, oh stack it going up the stairs. Not, not too bad view from the bedroom. Just gotta get up the stairs to start with. The old swag set up on the deck. Views. Oh, good morning. This isn't quite the uh, backlit mountain view. That I'd hoped for this morning, but still pretty beautiful. is the end of this episode. Just packed up and hit the road. Have a little restaurant there and, and everything, but we had our own food, so we just cooked up our own breakfast and dinners. And that's kind of a place you can just roll in with no supplies and chill out, drink some beers and get them to cook for you and everything, so. Yeah, and um, the, some of the bungalows do have beds in them, so you know, you don't need to be fully kitted out like we are. Um, definitely recommend it as a stop on your way to or from Prava here or if you're on your way to check out the mountain the name of which I cannot remember so if you did like this episode please smash that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already like 90% of our watch time is from non-subscribers so I would really appreciate it if you did subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one